Hey guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. You know, the Windows Phone 7 fun, it just keeps on going. With the Samsung Focus, it's available now at AT&T for $199.99, and it's one of three Windows Phone 7 devices that are either on AT&T or coming to AT&T in time for the holiday season. There's this one, the HTC Surround, and the LG Quantum, which is on its way. It's a cool device, one gigahertz processor, four inch Super AMOLED display, five megapixel camera, and a lot of fun packed inside. Let's have a look at the calendar, and you can see it pops up in day mode by default. There's the option to scroll over to agenda. You can click back to uh, see what the date is there, and then you can go to month mode by going to the bottom, and I don't think it, oh yeah, it does. Okay, good. It does uh, rotate. So you can see, for example, we want to do an appointment today. We want to hang out, hang out with, uh, who do we want to hang out with? Let's hang out with Sydney. She's pretty cool. She's enjoyable. We really enjoy hanging out with her. Hang out with Sydney, the location, let's say Kentucky. It's really more of an advantage for me because I'm in North Carolina and she's in Texas, but still, we're going to do that at 6 o'clock p.m. So I might have to run. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. 6 o'clock p.m., hang out with Sydney in Kentucky in one hour. So you'll see that pops up. You get the typical options, a reminder 15 minutes, but if you want to edit that and say how long, it has some preset times, but if you want to make it a custom time, let's say we're going to hang out from 6 o'clock to 6.09. You can go back through and scroll down, or let's say 7.34. Uh, 6 o'clock to 7.34, I hit save, and it's in there for one hour and 34 minutes. Now when I go back to the home screen, you can see it pops up on my calendar widget. So this is the advantage of having rectangular uh, tiles on the screen where you can see more text like that. That's why I'm thinking people would love to see a rectangular messaging widget or maybe an email widget or a people widget maybe that's a little bit uh, a little bit more advanced. But uh, maybe that'll come in future Windows versions. But you can see here it pops up there and it stays there until the event passes. So pretty cool little calendar features uh, on that touch. So we gotta have to have a look at the internet browser because it is lacking flash. But uh, I've just been so pleased with Windows Phone 7 and how buttery smooth, and I keep saying buttery smooth at that point in every video, and I don't mean it like that, but it's very smooth and, uh, and looks great. There's no lag whatsoever. Again, the transition effects are absolutely beautiful. Let's bring up a more intense page, more graphics intensive page like Phone Dog. Yes, I know I type weird. Uh, PhoneDog.com, we'll bring that up and see, but I mean, just transition effects have been great. Pinch to zoom has been fantastic. No lag whatsoever uh, on that front. And you can see, I mean, just fantastic. No lag whatsoever. And granted, it's not running flash. It's not, you know, a lot of people are like, that's unfair to compare that to Android. Well, it's really not because out of the box, comparing it to Android or iOS or some other platform, you know, this is what consumers get. So out of the box, it looks smooth to people and they may say, you know, they may not notice the fact that the ads are missing. On, uh, on our page, for example, they may just say, hey, this is much faster, I'm gonna stick with this. So from a consumer perspective, absolutely it's fair game, but the, the pinch to zoom, the transition effects, and just the overall responsiveness of, uh, of these devices has been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. As you can see at the bottom here, you have your favorites, you can view your favorites, and then you can look at your tabs, and we can open a new tab, for example, but then if we wanna go back to Phone Dog, click on that, bring up Phone Dog, and that leaves it where we left off. So some nice browser touches. Again, for a first generation uh, software platform, it's been, been pretty impressive in my book. Let's take a look at the, uh, the marketplace to give you an idea of what Windows new, uh, new app store, if you will, or marketplace looks like. You can see, that's what it, there's what it looks like, the, uh, the app center, if your AT&T app center, Samsung Zone, both built in to the marketplace, along with apps, games, and music. Now, you know, one frustration or one challenge I've had, one irritation, if you will, uh, it comes from when I'm searching for an app. So let's say you know I click search, search the marketplace for Twitter. It doesn't group everything. I don't know why it came up like that. Twitter. Uh, it doesn't group everything by apps or by music. It just brings it up in one big list. You can see Twittering Machine, Twitter Music Volume, Twitter Going Something, the new breed, Twitter Search, which is an application. But you can see, I mean, the first four are either playlists, songs, or albums, or I guess an artist as well. So music-related results, whereas if I want Twitter, I have to scroll all the way down here. So it's fine when I know what I'm doing, you know, like with a Twitter application or a Foursquare or something, but if I'm looking up a foreign app or something I'm not as familiar with, I have to scroll through and read every one. And uh, it's a little bit frustrating. And so it'd be nice if they could group it by apps and by music. Uh, 
and do it that way. Let's install Twitter. And you can see where it says pending, just below the free thing, it's downloading now. And you can see screenshots, you can read reviews and uh, and things of that nature. So it's it's a clean marketplace. I like the way it works. I like the, uh, again, I like the icons. It's very, very pretty. But that's one frustration that I had about the marketplace. And once it's installed, you can see down there at the bottom, Twitter, Twitter is now installed. You'll notice popular apps out of the box right now with Windows Phone 7. Popular apps like Twitter, Weather Channel, um, Foursquare, I believe, is on Windows Phone 7. Uh, and a couple of the other popular things, AP Mobile, um, Kelly Blue Book, if you like cars. But, uh, you know, obviously it's lacking the 300,000 apps, 300,000 plus apps that, uh, that its competitors like the, uh, the App Store have. So, you know, it's a few apps and it's a good start, but, they, uh, but the app development needs to continue. Now, this is based on Windows Phone 7 is based at its core on the Zune platform. So, obviously, the Zune uh, music player is pre-installed within Windows Phone 7. Very similar. You're going to notice this right out of the box if you're used to, if you're used to, uh, to Zoom, but you'll see here the option music, videos, podcasts, radio, marketplace. You can scroll over and uh, and go from there and see, let's say music, for example, artists, albums, songs, playlists, genres, artists, and you can scroll through and select your music that way. So that's pre-installed. And then, of course, Xbox Live is as well for those gamers out there. Bring that up. You see your collection, Xbox Live, if you want to play, you have to join Xbox Live. And uh, you can scroll through those once the Xbox Live. Join Xbox to play with friends, and uh, it'll allow you to connect and do do it on your phone. So there's collection. I got a couple games to try out of the box. This is I just opened this for the first time on this phone, so that is uh, that's available there. So cool. Now that said, you know Windows Phone 7 isn't the best in the battery life department. I'll talk about that more shortly. But it's not the best in the battery life department. So you know you play this for long enough, and your battery is going to be dead. You also have Microsoft Office pre-installed on this, uh, as well as a mobile version, so you can access OneNote, Documents, you can explore Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, uh, SharePoint as well. So you have the option to do quite a bit of uh, editing and collaborating within Windows Phone 7. And if you want a document, explore Word, tap on a new document, and, uh, wait a second, edit outline, no, let's go back. Tap on that, we'll go to a new document, we'll do a new Word document, and it brings it right up with the keyboard. So easy to use, again, looks very clean on that front. Now, the same, one of the fantastic features about the Focus is the camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera, but like the Galaxy S line, the camera is just surprisingly fantastic on this device. And a lot of it's because of the, the uh, Super AMOLED screen, but again, the camera quality overall has been, uh, I've been very pleased with, I, you know, both on the device and when I sent them to my, uh, to my computer, to my email, things like that. Let's take a look at the Droid Pro here and we'll do a quick up close and I think it's aided by the fact that there's a physical camera button on the side. So I can zoom in, you know, half press to zoom. I can hold it there and then get a better idea of, uh, of how I need to hold it. Now you can see, here's the camera interface. You can see some basic features, some basic settings here at the bottom, flash. But uh, if you want to access your pictures, it's a nice clean interface here. All you have to do is scroll up, and then there's the picture. Let's click that. There's the picture that I took. You can see, looks great. Very good picture of the, uh, of the keyboard. And uh, overall, very pleased there. And if I want to go back to the camera, I'll have to do slide back there. So it's a nice fluid interface between the gallery and the camera camera as well. So Focus has been a great device. I've been pleased with the call quality. Uh, battery life, yeah, you know, it's Windows Phone 7. It's not the best in the world. But call quality has been very good. The earpiece is loud. And uh, overall, it's a great device. I think it's a good, uh, good Windows Phone 7 device on AT&T. Much more coverage to come on the Samsung Focus on uh, on PhoneDog.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away 100 iPads, a trip to the Super Bowl. Who knows? You could win. Like us on Facebook.com slash PhoneDog and be sure to enter the sweepstakes. And also follow me on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. You love this device. You hate it. I would love to hear what you think. PhoneDog underscore Aaron and, uh, and be sure to hit me up. Thanks for watching. Much more coverage to come on the Samsung Focus, so keep it locked on PhoneDog.com. Have a great day. Uh-huh.